श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवास अदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे स्केट टू इट माय नेम्स बाक्त कपूरीस ऑन फेसबुक बाक्त मीनिंग डिवोटी वन हु इज ट्राइंग टू एंगेज इन डिवोशनल सर्विस वन हु इज ट्राइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू बी अ वैष्णव and what i've been taught about these vaishnavas is that they are not normal people they are of superhuman intelligence what determines a person's intelligence on the planet earth at this time it doesn't matter how much you read how much shastras how many books you know how many devotees like you or don't like you that's not what determines intelligence what determines intelligence is the fact that a person after many many millions of lifetimes is willing to at least look towards krishna as the source of salvation to look towards krishna as the person who we should surrender to this is what the vaishnavas are all about and because any person who is willing to look at krishna as the supreme personality of godhead which is his actual position is actually more intelligent than your greatest mundane scientists and philosophers With that said, I would like to say that there's a lot of people who believe I have a bodily concept. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what you think. I don't care what nobody thinks no more. You understand? When it comes to bodily concept, a lot of times I'll see good artists draw renditions of Sri Krishna and he will appear to have some African features. And all of a sudden, whenever he has these African features, you get to see the love of the so-called Vaishnavas in our movement. they come out with their claws and fangs out you are speculating this is a bodily conception why does krishna have african features i don't see nobody arguing when krishna has a straight nose or when they draw krishna in a white body which the scriptures do not support nobody supports that you understand that was my foot i didn't i did not fart that was my foot in the water <laughs> right i heard the sound i know you're going to hear it too that wasn't me anyway right so check it people like the the devotees are really hilarious right now cuz there's a serious double standard and I'm not having it I didn't come here to bow to nobody's feet who got a double standard I'm not with that I'm not that kind of devotee I don't need to be a devotee if that's what this is all about I'm not surrendering my intelligence I'm surrendering by way of my intelligence there's only one supreme person he's the father of all 8,400,000 living species in this material world so if somebody wants to draw krishna with african features you can't tell them they can't do it not while you're masquerading pictures of krishna with straight long hair when he's described as keshava keshava is at least 7 8 9 ether hair meaning curly nappy or wavy hair not straight if he's described as having beautiful hair in a land where the default hair is straight long hair then anything other than straight long hair is going to be considered beautiful or odd let me give you an example a lot of black men in the west right they like women who are quote unquote exotic meaning they got to look like they mixed with asian and spanish or black and white or like some kind of mixture they got to look iranian like kim kardashian for a lot of black men to be attracted to them and on a higher level that that whole situation is substantial because even the gopis came to krishna the gopis was always talking about oh, krishna you're so black why are you so black you know they loved them to death but they also teased them a lot they also <laughs> i don't know the relationship between the gopis and krishna is just like super transcendental above anything we could understand So one day Radha was like, you know, you so black, you know what I'm saying? And I'm so white and I'm so beautiful. <laughs> and Krishna just smiled and crossed his leg with his flute and assumed this three bent position and was like, "Yeah, all of that. You're beautiful, but what beauty is the full moon without the blackness of the night sky?" 
So I'm asking you so-called devotees out there, I'm challenging you to get over your bodily concepts before you start coming at me about I'm on some bodily concept. Yeah, I talk about Africa a lot in my posts. You know why? Because I refuse to forget all of the contributions that Africa has given to the human family. Whether you appreciate it or not, I do. And I will continue to appreciate it. Just like I appreciate European contributions, Native American contributions, all of the families of the planet Earth were supposed to bring something to the table. The European has a predominance of the science of fire. The Asian has a predominance of the science of air. The African has a predominance of the science of water and the Native Americans' Earth. All of us are God's children, and we are to utilize his energies in his service. Not in our personal conceptions. I am Indian. Krishna cannot look like African. I will accept European because we are superior to the Africans. We are better, but we will not accept a Krishna that looks like black. His lips so big. His nose so flat. This is impossible. Krishna could not be ugly. Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm here to tell you that, and I behold beauty in all of God's children. And whoever don't like that, you can get up out my face. Soon you're going to become a part of the path that I walk on if you stand in my way. I'm not here to play. I didn't come and I didn't even know I was going to be Hare Krishna. You understand? But I embrace it because I see the truth and I see the Supreme Lord. Jagannath is a loving person. He showed me personally he's a loving and a real person. Jagannath is an Adivasi deity. Jagannath was in India before Hinduism was there. He was in India when everybody's nose was flat and everybody had Keshava hair. Yeah. So you want to talk about an Aryan invasion, a made-up theory? That's a made-up theory. But if there was an Aryan invasion, then it's the modern Indians that I see today who claim to love God so much, but they don't equally love all of God's creatures. That's hypocrisy. Spell it. It's a symptom of Kali Yuga. You want to argue because people draw a picture of Krishna looking African? That's speculation? No, no, no. Let's see. The scriptures describe him as having eyes like lotus flowers. His eyes, the eye, the inside part. Lotus flowers. Whose eyes look like lotus flowers? I know one person whose eyes look like lotus flower, but she's not white body. She's not Indian body. It happens to be there's a Bakhtin named Talik. Everybody knows her. Everybody thinks she's been in the movement for so many years because her energy, the spiritual energy was there before. And she got eyes like lotus flowers. That's a black body. So if I draw Krishna with having eyes like Bakhtin Talib, like am I doing something wrong? No. What's the problem? You want to talk about black and blue? Well, in Africa, I think I mentioned this in a YouTube video before, but it needs to be repeated because there's been a lot of debates on Facebook about Vamana being appearing as black. It's all in the scriptures. Nobody said Krishna is African. But if we draw features of our father, we want to see some of ourselves in him. Do you know what has happened to black people in the Western Hemisphere? Yeah, I know I'm not this body, I'm pure spirit soul, but the body that I'm in is relevant because I got it due to my own karma and my own desire. Whether that's good karmas and good desire or bad karma and bad desire, I'm in this body. No, I'm not defending this body. I'm defending the principle that it is unhealthy for you to tell somebody that God can't be in their image and that image is ugly, but you will accept other images that don't even look like you. 400 years, black people in the Western Hemisphere had to worship a deity that don't look like them. To worship a deity named Jesus, who didn't exist in the Hebrew times, Jesus, the letter J is brand new, 1600 was when it was created. And you got all these black people running around worshiping a white image of Jesus. And it's unhealthy. The first slave ship that came over here was named Jesus. Ain't none of that healthy. Krishna don't, don't never force nobody to serve and love him. Krishna's not a jealous God, he's a zealous God. If he feels that you can get closer to him by worshiping the Orisha or the Netaru, he will empower the Orisha to bless you. The Lua, the spiritual agents, the demigods, the angels. He'll empower, go ahead, worship them. Because even better than worshiping Krishna is worshiping his servant. As long as his servant is representing him, cent per cent. So I like to smash this bodily conception, right? But I'm not going to break my bodily conception until you break yours. The challenge is on you. When I came here... I found your hair already. Y'all was supposed to be more advanced. Y'all was supposed to be loving. Where is the love? Where's the love?
You can't accept all of Krishna's children? Is there a problem with black devotees? What, we came to your temple to steal your money and rape your women? You're just going to perpetuate this nonsense that the devil has been perpetuating in the West for 400 years? Well, good luck to you, but I ain't with it. I bow to the Supreme Lord. I bow to his chosen representatives, those who know the difference between spirit and matter. Those who know the difference between love and hate. If you ain't showing me love, don't expect no love from me. I ain't scared of not one of y'all. Haribo.